Hey, what's up? So, I've been working on my engine and uh, made a few changes and uh, updates to it. Um, the first one is the resolution I'm displaying at. I used to be displaying at the NES resolution, which is uh, 256 by 240, but then realized that when you view the NES on a TV, the image is actually stretched out. Um, this kind of demonstrates it here. This blue box would be what the NES outputs, 256 pixels wide, and the red box attached would show what it actually looks like on a TV at 320 pixels. So uh, what I did is instead of bothering to stretch it in the engine, I'm just outputting it 320 pixels instead of 256. I'm going more for style, style here rather than accuracy. So as you can see, it looks more like a uh, TV display than it did before. Um, next thing I had was dialog boxes. I uh, did this not so much for RPGs, but more for getting feedback from the options menu and stuff. Um, what it does is it uh, I pass in a string and a font and it renders each character at delay to get that old school NES typewriter effect complete with annoying blips. Also has uh, multiple pages. And another thing I added was controller reconfiguration. I wanted my games to have gamepad support but I know each gamepad is different as to what buttons are what. Um, for example Button 1 on gamepad A can be totally different from button 1 on gamepad B, so it's important to have be able to reconfigure the controls. Um, so what I did is I added that, and uh, the interface is uh, really similar to if you've ever used the SNES. It just steps through each one of the controls and you press a button that you want to assign to that control. Now this way if your gamepad has buttons in different places than my gamepad does, then you can reset it so it will, everything will work. The uh, re reconfigure controls function also works for the keyboard as well. Uh, just added a simple view default controls dialog. This just explains the basic controls in the game. Not that there are anything uh, that difficult. Um, also, check gamepad function. This will check if the game recognizes your gamepad. Uh, this is useful if you have a gamepad plugged in, but for some reason it's not working with my game. This will check to see if the, uh, the game actually recognizes it. In other words, if you get an error message when you select this, the problem is most likely with your gamepad or the way you have it configured in whatever operating system you're using. This will, it should print out the name of uh, your gamepad and say detected. Otherwise, if it's not detected, you'll get an error message and the problem, like I said, the problem is most likely with your gamepad. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.